Hello and welcome back to this channel where we upload scripture-based inspirational videos daily. So if this is your first time here, kindly subscribe today so that you don't miss any of our videos and also turn on your notification so that you can be notified every time we upload a new video. In this particular video today, I'd like to share with you how to boost your self-image by the Word of God. How to use the Word of God to boost your self-image. The thoughts of a person affect the quality of life of such a person greatly. There is no one who can outperform their thoughts. For as a man thinks, so is he. And the Bible makes us to know that God's Word is a mirror. We can look into God's Word to know who God created us to be and how God desired or desires us to be. You know, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, the Bible says, And God said, Come, let us make man in our own image, and after our likeness, and let them have dominion. That is the first part of that verse. So God's intention for creating you and I was for us to be like him, and then for us to have dominion. Anything short of this is not God's plan and is not God's purpose. So the question is this, how do you see yourself? So many people do not dwell in life because of the self-image they carry. You can carry a negative self-image or a poor self-image and expect to be very productive in life. Our thoughts define who we are. If you think small, there is every tendency to remain small. If you think big, there is every tendency that you are going to grow and become great and become big. If you think failure, there is every tendency that you are going to fail in life. Right? If you think success, if you think about success all the time, according to God's word and you and you use God's word as your standard and you use God's word as your mirror, there is every, every possibility for you to become great and to become successful. So our thoughts are very important to what will come in life and what we achieve in life. So in other words, in order to have a beautiful life, in order to have a great life, you must carry a positive self-image. And one way to do that is to look at the Word of God as your mirror in order to know and to understand what God's purpose for creating you and I is. Every creator includes in their products what is called the manual. The manual is meant to tell the user what the product is about and how it can be used. Now, when God created man, the manual that he left for us and the manual the believer has is the word of God, is the Bible. So you can't know who you are, you can't know your potential unless you examine yourself by the Bible or you use the Bible as your standard. People have their opinions about us every time. You know, the world has its opinion. People can say what they want about you. But what do you say about yourself? Now, it's what you say about yourself that matters because that is what gives you the energy to either move forward or to remain on one spot. It is the word of God that has the final say about you. It is the word of God that really tells you exactly how you were made and what you were made for. God created you and I. And so he has the perfect description of what we're created to be and to become. Child of God, I want to let you know today, the Bible says that you are meant to be above only and not beneath. We are meant to be the head and not the tail. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says that we are meant to prosper and be in good health. The lines are falling to us in pleasant places and we have a good heritage. That is the word of God. The word of God says that you shall be led about by peace. That is what the word says. So by the time you begin to look into the word of God and you begin to meditate on the word of God and you begin to live your life based on the word of God, then you see that everything around you begins to change because that is who you truly are. Ah, and that is who you are meant to be. You can't be thinking wrongly and be moving forward. You can't be thinking you were created to be poor, you were created to fail, you were created to be sick, and you accept it and make it your property, make it yours. It's impossible to move forward that way. It's more like using the manual for a clipper, for Babin, to run a television. It doesn't work because that manual is not for operating the television. So. Using the word of God to pattern your life is using the right manual for your life. Child of God, from today, choose to use the right manual for your life. Choose to use the right mirror for your life. 
every other place you may look into will tell you something wrong about yourself. If you look at people as a mirror, you get the wrong image. If you look at your situation as your mirror, you get the wrong image. If you look at your pocket and your present situation as your mirror, you get the wrong image because all these things have the tendency of giving you the wrong image about yourself. They have the tendency to give you what is not real about yourself. And even among mirrors, there are different kinds. There are concave mirrors, there are convex mirrors, and there are other kinds of mirrors. The mirror you use significantly determines what you see. If you use the wrong mirror, you get the wrong image. If you use the right mirror, you get the right image. The Word of God is our right mirror. It is the Word of God that can really show to us who we really are and who we should really be. You were created to be like God. God is not a failure. If you look at God, God is not depressed. And that is a life God intends for you and I to live. He said, come, let us make man in our own image. Are you really living as God's image upon the earth? The Bible says, as he is, so are we in this world. That is why it's important for every child of God to understand that to have a robust image of yourself, you must use the word of God as a mirror. You must use the word of God as your standard. The image you have about yourself that determines your performance in life. If you have a poor image of yourself, your performance in life will be poor. If you have a distorted image of yourself, your performance in life will be distorted. If you have a shallow image of yourself, your output in life will be shallow. But I decree in the name of Jesus Christ that that will not be your portion. I decree that from today you begin to see yourself the right way. From today, whatever has happened to you, whatever situation that you may have gone through that distorted or changed your thoughts or changed your mind about how, who you are and how you view yourself, today I decree that such effects are cancelled in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I decree that from today you have a wholesome view and image of yourself. I decree that as you begin to see yourself the right way, from now you begin to have good results. As you begin to view yourself the right way from now, you will begin to attract right results in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I decree in the name above all names that from now your life will be beautiful in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Whatever may have eluded you because of the kinds of thoughts and the kinds of beliefs you had about yourself, I decree today that such ends now in the precious name of jesus christ welcome to a new day welcome to a, a new dawn welcome to an era of success welcome to an era of prosperity welcome to an era where all things are possible because you would right now know that you were created in god's image and nothing will stop your shine in jesus precious name amen thank you very much for watching till the very end Please do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends. It will help us to also reach more people when you subscribe and share with your friends. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. In Jesus' name. Amen.